Hi, everyone. Uh, Boston Potter here. Nice to see you all, even though I can't really see you all. I can't wait till I can say nice to hug you all. But um, it's coming soon. Anyway, I'm going to do a spring project for you um, to show you something fun and simple, as I always say. So um, here we go. Let's get started. So I'm going to show you how to do four flowers, three to four, I think four flowers, and um, just watercolor flowers that it's going to be pretty simple to do. Um, I think you're going to like them. So you're going to need some water, palette to put your paint on, um, a paper towel, and probably um, just this plate here. I, I've got, you can use any plate. I'm just using this as a sample because I can do fit four flowers on here. Um, I already coated this with two to three coats of polar bear because I'm just going to put the flowers on that. So I've got several colors here because I'm going to do a few flowers. So instead of pink, I'm going to use this red blaze because when it goes on watery, it's sort of pinkish. It's not so dark. Now, literally, I'm going to show you this. I'm making a drop. You see the drop of that? I'm going to use Orange Crush. I'm going to put a drop of that. This is how easy this is and how little paint you need. Separate them a little bit, though. I'm going to use... Um, I'm going to put some yellow. I don't even know if I'm going to use all these colors, but... I'm going to try some blue. Separate them a little because once you start you putting water on them, they kind of spread out. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need a little bit of uh, Happy Trails. Like I said, even those drops are probably too much. Okay, You don't need much paint at all. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to need some black, but I'm going to put a drop on there in case. Definitely going to need some green. So this is just Kermit. And oh, a little didn't put the cover on right. Okay. All right. So now I'm gonna need um, and I'm gonna put a little bit of white in case I need it. Okay. All right. Now we got our colors. I'm gonna mainly use two brushes, and one is a number four round and a liner brush. Okay. So that's it. So we're gonna get started. So. Um, First one I'm going to show you is this sort of like, I don't know what you call it. I guess it, you could call it a rose, a tulip, but it's just a simple flower. You'll see because you'll know it's a flower. So you're going to dip your brush in the water. You're going to water the, the glaze down. Okay, now this is this uh, red blaze. I'm watering it down. Now, I don't need a pattern for this because I'm going to put just a kind of a little... Um, sort of like a teardrop thing in the center here. Then I'm going to kind of go around it like this and put this one here. Now, it's almost not watery enough, okay? So that's my flower right there. I mean, it's as simple as that. You can put, you know, a little bit over here to make it look more um, like a rose. Okay, so that's that's my flower. Now, if I want to put some darker areas, then I can take this. Um, you can actually, you know, put put it in the water, dab it off a little bit so the brush ain't, you know, just soaked with water. Because now I want it a little bit darker in certain areas. So now I'm going to put, put it a little bit heavier in just different areas of the flower so that, um, you know... I don't want it to be just watered down, the whole flower. I want a little bit of um, darkness on in it and some, and some lighter areas. So that's what I'm going to do. So there's my little flower there. Now, to finish this flower off, I'm going to take um, my brush and I'm going to put, I'm going to water down the green, okay? Now, you can use the liner brush for this, but if you want, like on this particular one, I want it to be a little bit thicker uh, than a liner brush or the stem. So, as you see, you know, you, you can just, I'm going to show you that I put 
this little um, at the start of the stem here. I don't know what you call this part, but you know it sort of go has a little thing in the middle, then it goes up the sides a little. Now I'm going to bring it all the way down. You can see, you see, it's very watery. Uh, the leaves on this one. This is how I'm going to do these. So I'm going to start up here. I'm going to touch it, and then I'm going to kind of fatten it out a little and bring it down again. Same thing over this side. I'm going to do one over here. Okay. Now, to get those a little bit darker, you want to dry your brush up a little and get a little bit of the darker color, which isn't watery. And just put a little bit of, um, like this up here. You're just kind of shading it a little bit, the watercolor, so that it ain't all one shade, you know. Okay, so you see you're getting... You're getting a little bit different of a shade. So that's what you get. So there's one flower. Okay. Now, the second flower I'm going to show you. Rinse your brush. Um, these flowers that I'm going to show you now, they're going to be yellow and blue. So I'm going to water down the yellow. So with this, you're going to do some... Um, just put color in there. You're just starting at a point. It's almost like a, um, you're starting at the base right here, and then you're just kind of bringing them up a little bit. Uh, it doesn't have to be even, so that it looks like this. Uh, I'm going to do another one uh, right here. You can do them small, big. Um, I'm going to do another one here. So these are pretty simple. But they take a little bit more color. So now I'm going to take uh, the blue. I'm going to water down the blue because I'm going to make a few blue ones too. Okay, so we're going to do the blue. I mean, they're just kind of like wildflowers. You don't have to have anything in particular. Okay, so we got two blue ones. Okay, now <coughs> with the yellow... I'm going to go back in, put in some orange. Same thing, watering it down so that there's just not much on my brush. It's just like a, a it's very watery, okay? Put some, a uh, little bit of orange in there. Put it on a little bit. You see, I'm not even going to use, even this drops of paint that I have, I'm not going to even use that much paint. And I put small drops. So kind of bringing it still to a point. So you have a little extra color in there. Now on the blue, I'm just going to, because instead of putting a darker blue, I'm going to use this blue. But instead of being a little, I'm going to have it less watered down. I'm just going to get the actual blue with, the, with the, just one little coat. But that's going to make it a little bit darker in here. I'm going to hold it up and show it to you in a second. Okay, so now, do you see how we got, you know, the yellow, the orange, just to give it a little bit more color in there. The blue, the darker blue. Now, I'm going to add some of that darker brown color. Now, the brown, same thing. Make sure you water it down, okay, because you don't want this on really, really dark. Now, the brown, I'm going to just put a little bit at the each of the tip of this. Now, I've got it almost still too dark. I mean, you really want this kind of watery. You don't want it too dark. Okay, so now you got this. Okay, now these are just, like I said, little wildflowers. Now, I want, I want the stems on these to be a little thinner, so I'm going to use my liner brush, okay? So now I'm going to take the liner brush, water it down again, um, dip it in the green and now I'm just going to make a stem all the way down you could see the water the liner brush because it's long too it holds a lot of color so you can go all the way down with it just kind of support your little finger your small finger on your plate so you get a, you know a nice line now if you want to wave these wildflower things you can um, 
I try to go all the way down as far as I can. You can wave them. Now, the other thing you can do is um, put some little um, leaves off of these, too. But I'm going to not make them quite as big as I did these. So I'm just going to do a few. So you can see these are smaller. Now, they're easy. They're not. You, that's why you don't need a pattern or anything to do this watercolor flowers. It's just supposed to be quick and easy. Whimsical, I guess you could call it. Not hot at all, okay? Did you see how cute they are? So that's it with those. Now, that's it on that flower. You could add more to it if you want, but you don't have to. Now, I'm going to do, I'm going to use the red again, the red blaze, which you could use pink, but I, like I said, this is pretty watered down, so I want it to show up. So now, now this flower here, this particular flower I'm going to do is, um, it's watery. Again, I'm going to kind of bushel it. When I say bushel it, that's what I, when I say bushel it, I mean kind of go like this at the, at the tip and then bring it into the center. Okay. So see how I'm doing that. I, I make up words, I think, because I don't know what bushel it means. But anyway, um, that's what I'm calling it. That's what it feels like I'm doing. Okay, so you see how you're just bringing it from the outside towards the center. Still very watery. And I got several of them. Okay, I got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Now you can make them a little bit fatter and so they're not like that. Not as many. You're going to rinse your brush. Now I'm going to go back in and I'm going to put a little more color for the shading again in there. So it's still kind of watered down, but I just want to have a little bit more so that it's not so... Um, you know, just like I said, not all one shade. I want to have some shading in there that's, when you see watercolor, a lot of times you see, um, you know, you still see different shades of color. So now, and if I feel like it's too much, then I just dip it in the water, dab it off a little bit. But actually, I'm just going to wet it. Actually, just wet it a little. Like this has a little much, so I want it, if it starts looking not as, you know, much of a watercolor as I would like, then I kind of just dab some water in it to make it look a little more watercolor. Now I'm going to take um, I'm going to take the the uh, black. Very, well, you can use black or brown for this. I think I'll go with the brown. Okay, so because I'm going to water it down, and then I'm just going to make some little things in the middle. To give the flower something else. Um, you can even add a little yellow in there, whatever you want. Take the liner brush again. Now in this one, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make these lines so that I'm gonna bring my stem down. Okay. Then instead of making leaves like that, I'm gonna make leaves like this because you'll you'll find it's fun to use the the fun writer brush, I mean the, sorry, fun writer, the um, liner brush, because you can do all kinds of little things with it. Um, so this one's got a little bit different of a, um, like, you know, leaves going off the stem. Do you see it's very, very light, okay? Now there's the third flower. Now the fourth flower. This one's really cool. I kind of like this one. I just go on Google and I just look up watercolor flowers and then I just try to recreate it by doing these watery looks, watercolor looks. Now, so I'm going to take this. I'm going to take the blue, water it down. And this one, this blue one I'm going to do, I'm going to do like, let's see. I'm going to do it really watery. 
and I'm still going to take it down to this to a point in here because that's where your stem's going to be coming from. As you can see, this one I might add some other color to it because, like I said, I'm looking at something on the on Google that I kind of liked, and I was like, oh, I think I can do that. Now, if you get it really watery, you can put little, you know, um, other little dots like above it. It just kind of looks really cool because it's light. As you see how this is? So now I'm going to take it. I'm going to add a little bit of green to it. Very watered down. And I'm going to add a little bit of green, some green, um, I don't know what you call them. They're not really dots, so... That's why you don't need a pattern, because you're just kind of throwing it on there. I'm going to do more water. It's just a matter of getting used to the water. So I've got a little bit of green in this flower, okay? Now, this is the one I'm going to add a little bit darker blue down in here. Right in here, I'm going to use some darker blue. It's really just kind of winging it. It's like, I'm not used to this kind of painting, but I do it once in a while, and it's the more I do it, the more I like it, that I just kind of do my own watercolor thing. Okay, now I'm going to take the black this time. Same thing, water it down. I just need a little, little bit of it. And I'm going to put that on the very edge of it. Just like that. You don't have to be an artist to do this. And that's it. Now you could put some little leaves on that too, but I'm just going to leave it like that. So you don't have to have that on there. So this is it. Um, if you want to add a little more black up in here, you can. Okay. So that's it. It's basically, those are just some real simple watercolor flowers. I mean, there's a million you could do. Like I said, you just look on the web and, uh, you know, just look up watercolor, Google watercolor flowers and just try to create them. Um, this here, this particular flower here is this right here that I saw. And I thought, oh, that looks kind of cool. I'm going to try to do that. It's just easy to throw together. It doesn't look exactly the same, but... I don't want that anyway. I want my own thing. So that's that one. So anything you look up, you can probably do that's watercolor. It's just kind of throwing it on there. And like I said, there's colors on here. This is white on the background. Now, the other thing is you can see how much paint I used. Now, I put little drops there and look at, I still got all that left. So I could really put a speck of color on there because you're watering it down. So that's, that's what happens. So anyway... That's it. Um, that's it. So try it out. Okay. Simple as pie. Catch you later, guys.